Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to explain how one can actually define a user defined function. And in last video tutorial, I've explained how one can actually plot a sinusoid signal. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to plot a sinusoid signal, but this time I will generate a sinusoid signal using a user defined function. So just to understand how one can actually define a uh, user defined function in MATLAB environment. Uh, Let's take an example. Let's say I want to generate. Uh, I I I do. We we don't have any uh, function like add, right? Uh, which will take two comma three, and if we enter, it will result that this function is not present or this function is not defined. This function is not defined in this directory, which means this is not a defined or built-in available function. But I want to define this function. So how I can do it? I just click on this new script. This is an M file or editor file. Here you need to write first keyword is a function. Then you need to write the return variable, which is let's say C. Uh, it should be in a square brackets. And then I need to write the name of the function that I want to um, make, right? So let's say add is the name of the function that I want to use. And let's say the input argument should be the num uh, two numbers. Let's say num one, comma num two, right? And if I'm gonna define it, it will actually uh, be equal to c equals to c is a return or result, right? C equals to uh, num one plus num two, right? That's it. So what is this function will be doing? It will take input argument num one, right, and num two. And it will sum them up in C, and C will be returned to the main file where we will be using it, right? So let's say I want to save it. I will click on save. Again, the very important point to uh, about saving a, a user-defined function, you just need to name it with the name that you want to use for the uh, function itself. So add should be the name, and I will just save it. It should be M file by default. It is M file, but I, you can write dot M and you just save it once you do it uh, now you can check it let's say this file is already saved now so i will close it and now let's perform the same thing that we did add two comma three and once i'm going to execute it you will see the result is fine so that's how uh, one can actually generate a user defined function that was the simplest way to define a user defined function but now i want to generate a sinusoid signal using uh, the user defined function. So let's make a new script file. So this is a new editor file or I'm file. So uh, this will be a function file. So it will be start with a keyword function and it will actually produce a signal which will be sinusoid itself. So a signal will be returned to the main function wherever it is called equals to then we need to have a, a name for the signal. Right, so let's say it should be sino. Right, sino will be the name of uh, a function which will generate a sinusoid signal. Right, uh, then it will have various parameter. We have already discussed it. For example, it can be amplitude, amplitude. It can be frequency. Right, it will be the time vector which will be coming from the main program which will be calling this sino function and there could be one more parameter which is called phase right we usually we use word phi but you can also write phase so it is just a matter of uh, variable name but remember there are four input argument amp for amplitude frequency for what uh, F -E -F -R -E -Q for frequency t for the time vector phse phase for the phase right and let's say what is going to happen the signal will be equal to according to the definition of the sinusoid amplitude times cosine which is the built-in function of the matlab right as we are defining a user defined function like sino and it will be equal to two static phi static frequency static uh, sorry uh, static t plus phase and that's it that's all. So in this way, frequency the signal will be generated, right? And then you can actually uh, end this function. Now we need to just save this function. So once you call it, you see 
by default it is sino so once you save it it is present now so now we can actually call this function and it will generate sinusoid signal for us right so let's say i'm going to make a new um, file where i will be calling it let's say i'm defining a fre uh, sampling frequency equals to 8000 i've already explained this stuff in the last video tutorial and the sample space would be one reciprocal of sampling frequency then we will define a time vector itself let's say i'm going to take for two seconds so zero the sample space is t and for two seconds let's say two and let's say then amplitude okay now i can simply call the function so because i've already defined it so let's say uh, y is a signal which is equal to sino then we need to define the very first thing which was amplitude if you uh, if you are using a matlab 2020 uh, since i've already defined uh, the definition so you see this this help is already given by matlab right so it, it's kind of artificial intelligence in uh, defining the matlab so it actually asks you amp should be the first parameter frequency should be the second the t vector and then phase right so if i'm going to write here amplitude let's say amplitude should be two comma frequency let's say frequency should be what uh, let's say three or you can make it one just to understand it clearly and then time vector and then phase let's say i'm going to make the phase uh, equals to zero for the first case right and then i can simply write plot come on because i want to plot it just to visualize this the signal and that's it so this is all about and now if you notice this this is a user defined function that we have just created and we will be calling it so once i'm going to save it it will ask for my uh, name of the file so you can name it anything whatever you like so let's say you can name it uh, example one right so if i i'm gonna save it and i'm gonna run it so once i'm gonna run it you will see that it takes some time to process uh, it, it depends upon the processing speed of your cpu finally result has come it took a while uh, because of uh, the slow very high sampling rate uh, i can make it faster because i used a very high sampling rate uh, i will just reduce it for the next time but you can see that my uh, user defined function which was sino it's perfectly working and in this way you can actually define any user defined function for any purpose for this uh, in this video, I'm doing it for sinusoid generation, right? Uh, just to make it a bit faster, I will just make it, let's say, 10 is a trembling frequency. It will be not, uh, resolution will not be that much smooth as we uh, just noticed, but it will be a bit faster. And uh, you can take, let's say, 3 is amplitude, 2 is the frequency, and time is a vector, and 0 is the phase. So if I'm going to plot it, you will notice it that this is the c this is the new signal and if you uh, if you are observing it there are two cycles in one second and if you see this is zero second this is one second and in this duration there are two cycles just to make it smooth you can increase your sampling rate if i make sampling rate equal to 100 let's run it again and you will notice that signal is very smooth now right so uh, and again, if you notice from zero hertz to from zero second to one second, right? Uh, there are only two cycles. So you can change it. Let's say I want to make four frequency, uh, a sinusoid with a four uh, hertz. So I just change the frequency parameter, right? And let's say uh, if you just notice here uh, in last example, I just uh, the amplitude, the peak amplitude value was three, uh, right? And now you can actually change it to unity. Let's say phase uh, uh, amplitude is unity and the frequency is four. So if I'm going to run it, you will notice it that now see uh, there are four cycles one, two, three, and four cycles are completed during the one second. And now the peak value of the signal is one. So in this way, you can generate a sinusoid signal using a user defined function. Uh, and I hope you understand it. Still, if you have any query in generation of a sinusoid using a user-defined function or uh, 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 how, uh, how one can define 
uh, user defined function you can post your queries uh, in comment section thank you so much for listening